didn't get a chance to play with, with James, obviously, but how was the night for you emotionally? Like, was there any different kind of emotion for you having him come back into the building? Or was it just another game for you? Um, I just wanted to play. Um, trying to win. I mean, we, you know, obviously, you know, it's, it's uh, momentum in the game uh, because of the situation and how, you know, things happen, but uh, for the most part, man, I just wanted to win. Um, and unfortunately, we couldn't do that tonight. Um, so um, I was just focused on trying to trying to get it up. Brian Barefield. Vic, what changed for you in that uh, second half, especially in that third quarter where you seemed to almost not miss a shot? Um, just kept being aggressive. Um, just keep playing, you know, honestly, that's all I got to do is keep playing and eventually it's going to come um, and it's going to come in, in waves um, and I'm very optimistic about the future and I know better days are ahead for myself um, and I just got to continue to keep getting better. Jonathan Pagan. Understanding that these last couple games were losses and there will be a losing streak heading into the break, but how do you feel about this team and what it could be compared to how whatever you might have felt a few days ago, a week ago, or at other times during the streak? Um, we'll see what this team is really made of when we're all healthy. Um, and kind of dug ourselves in a hole, um, but we all still have something to prove. Uh, we, we all still have chips on our shoulder. Um, and when we're fully healthy, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of damage we can do. Kelly, you go. You talked about health. Um, today, you guys played big minutes, you and John, and were able to play together longer and have big games. Does that kind of give you momentum, if, if that word makes sense, uh, heading into the second half? Because the more time you guys have together, the more used to each other you, that you guys can get. Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't have a lot of minutes together. So, you know, the more the merrier. Um, and as we continue to you know, play together, I think, you know, the chemistry will, will be more, a little more consistent. So um, we just got to keep taking it one day at a time, one game at a time. It's not always going to be perfect, but um, we just got to keep being optimistic and keep getting better. <clears throat> Mark Berman. Victor, uh, how do you disconnect, refresh, reboot with, with going into the break with a 13 game losing streak? Can you put that, in the, put that out of your mind or is it, Stay in the back of your mind. How do you look at that? You got to stay present. I'm all about staying present. You know, that's what I'm focused on doing is staying present. Um, um, unfortunately, you know, we on a 13 game losing streak, but we can't go back and change that. Can't go back to the past and change that. So we just got to focus on today um, and and then tomorrow um, and then the next day after that and just taking it one day at a time and continue to improve. Um, like I said, you know, when we all get back healthy, um, it's going to be very interesting to see what kind of damage we can do. Um, and um, I think guys are going to take the break, obviously, to refresh, re reboot. Um, and then next week when we get back here, um, let it all hang out because um, we're going to need to. Brian Bearfield. Rick, I know you only played with uh, Justin Patton for a couple of days, and he's still learning the system. But does it make you all make you feel comfortable just knowing that you have a big man on the floor, especially on the defensive end? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's been tough for him, obviously. You know, just coming into a new situation and a new system, and I'm familiar with that as well. So, you know, obviously, you got to be patient with him. But you know, he does everything that anyone asks of him. Um, he's willing, willing to learn, and um, he does everything he's 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 told. So, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for him, um, just because he's a great listener, and he um, and he goes out there and he plays as hard as he can. Um, can only do so much with limited time, uh, but he's done a great job. Cody Davis. 
Hey, Victor, we got a small sample size to see how good you guys can be when you guys had a full team. Do you believe that it's possible that you guys, you know, when everybody gets back in the second half of the season, do you think it's possible that you guys can actually go on a run and possibly make a play for that play-in tournament in hopes of getting back into the playoff run? Anything is possible. So um, we shall see. Like I said before, you know, we all get back healthy um, and we're all uh, together again. It'll be interesting to see what kind of damage we really can do.